Hello, my friend. Today I'm gonna show you our newest switcher, Switcher Baby 680. This MI360 switcher, it is 4K signal switcher, 4K input, 4K output. It supports HDMI 2.0 and DP 1.2 input and HDMI 2.0 output. It supports 4 layers to 4 layers switch. Now I show you the input and output port. As you can see, program output, uh, HDMI 2.0, we have two. Another is redundancy report, um, HDMI 2.0, support uh, 4K by 2K output. And this area is the AUX program output. We have eight outputs, in fact, four groups. One and two is the the same group. The the second, uh, the third the second group is third and fourth. This third group, fourth group, and here we have the pro preview output. We have DVI preview and HDMI preview output. Okay, now the input port. We have four HDMI 2.0 input, DP 1.2 for output. Uh, for input, I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, if we wanna add SDI input, we can. We have two extend module. Each port have uh, two SDI input ports. Okay, now I show you the control panel. Here, layer area. We have four layer. One, two, three, four. Here. The logo area we have three logo we have save load as you can see here is input area each input each layer we can use any input we have a uh, totally 12 12 input each layer layer one two three four we can use all of the input source and ox ox also i can use any of the input source um, okay, this area is the preset area. We can save totally 12 presets and load, save, clear, undo. This area and this area is the almost the same. It's control the layers, position, size, etc. This area is a number input area. And this area is the transition area, um, like lock, freeze, break. And this one is T-ball. This one is cut, cut in, cut out. This one is take. Now I show you the LCD screen. As you can see here, the program preview. And each color means different layer. Now here program has four layers. This here has two layers. Now as you can, as you can see, layer one, two, three, four. Layer one and two is uh, activated. We can see the position, size, clone or not, logo or not. Okay, now I show you the uh, more specifications. As you can see here, picture. Picture, we can control the bright level, gamma. Lay each layer, we can do different settings, like brightness, contrast, saturation, color temperature. Okay, the second one, output. We can do the program output resolution, aux output resolution. As you can see, we have fixed in, uh, resolution and also we can customize the resolution. That is output. Okay, let's go to input. Input, we can see what input we have. One, two, three, four, into eight. And if we add X10 module, we can have 12, totally 12 input. And let's see, layers, layers, we can do size position, zoom, layer crop, key in settings, shell effect. Uh, as you can see, we, we have uh, um, different bottoms. We can go to the function directory, as you can see, um, full screen, top, bottom, Color key, luma key. Also, um, layer edit, take edit, aspiration, duration time, shadow effect. 
Also here, as you can see, size and position, zoom crop, edit, edge position, V position, right? Okay. Let's see. This one, save, load, is about the preset. Okay. At uh, EDID, as you can see, we can do any input EDID. We can do the uh, resolution and frequency for the input. Okay, here, MISC, I would like to show you. It is uh, like data information, firmware version. Uh, it, when we update the machine, then we use this one. Okay, as you can see, text pattern. Test pattern. Um, we have uh, about 100 test pattern inside. As you can see, here. Here. As you can see, the program screen. We have different test pattern. Yes. Now I show you some interesting function of this machine, like layer clone. As you can see here, I select the layer 2 and then press clone. Now as you can see, you can have the totally same layers on the right side. Now I click the mirror function, then if, like a mirror, um, another layer is the mirror of the original one okay now I show you the shadow effect okay as you can see uh, on the right side and the bottom side on as you can see they has shadow okay I made the shadow white bigger as you can see the shadow is bigger okay um, as you can see here, we have different uh, control button like shift, lock, and then when you have lunch time, nobody can do any change to your uh, event. Okay, do it again. Shift, lock. Okay. When it, when I play in a video, I can use this one. Shift, freeze, and then the video will freeze. Uh, okay. I can also black the program output directly yes shift black yes and this keyboard i can also use this button cut means similar switch this take means um it will fade in and fade out as you can see i can also change the duration time now it's two seconds, I can change to one second, two, half, half second, and 0 0.3 second, zero second. Okay, half second. It will be faster. Okay, let's freeze the video. Freeze. As you can see, the program output, the video is freeze, but the preview is still going on. That's all. Thank you.